in the heart of a quaint renaissance. Era town nestled amongst cobblestone streets and time-worn buildings. A man named Victor found himself in pursuit of the finest cannabis known to man. His desire for the mystical herb consumed him, driving him to wander through the narrow alleyways in search of its elusive presence. As dusk settled upon the town, Victor's eyes caught sight of a figure emerging from the shadows, a breathtakingly beautiful woman with flowing golden locks, cascading down her ethereal gown. Her porcelain skin glowed in the moonlight, captivating Victor's attention. Intrigued, Victor approached the woman, his voice laced with a mixture of awe and curiosity. Pardon me, fair lady, he spoke, his words touched with an air of sophistication. Might you know of a place where the finest cannabis might be found? The woman's lips curled into a mischievous smile, her eyes sparkling with hidden knowledge. Oh, but of course. Kind, sir, she replied, her voice carrying a melodic timber. I possess a garden where the most exquisite cannabis blossoms. Follow me, and I shall grant you a glimpse of its splendor. Victor's heart quickened with anticipation as he followed the enchanting woman through the winding streets, their footsteps echoing against the stone. They arrived at a secluded garden, bathed in a surreal, otherworldly glow. The scent of fragrant flowers mingled with an earthy undertone, leaving Victor intoxicated by the allure of the place. As Victor marveled at the verdant foliage, his mind concocted a scheme. Fair maiden, he ventured, his voice dripping with charm. I have heard tales of your legendary garden, and I would be honored if you were to gift me a small quantity of your finest cannabis. The woman's eyes narrowed, a flicker of suspicion crossing her features. Ah, you seek my cherished herb without proper recompense, she remarked, her voice tinged with both amusement and warning. Beware, for my generosity may come with unforeseen consequences. Victor waved away her caution, a confident smirk playing on his lips. Oh, fair lady, I assure you my intentions are pure, he claimed, his words oozing with false sincerity. A small gesture of goodwill would be a testament to your graciousness. The woman's smile turned cryptic, and with a flick of her slender fingers, a small pouch materialized before Victor's eyes. Very well, she conceded, her voice laced with an unspoken challenge. Take this as a token of my generosity, but remember, not all gifts come without a price. Eagerly, Victor grasped the pouch, his eyes gleaming with triumph. But as he examined its contents, his satisfaction turned to confusion. The supposed cannabis within the pouch had transformed into a clump of ordinary grass, mocking his deceitful intentions. His heart raced with a mixture of fear and disbelief as he turned his gaze upon the woman. Gone was her enchanting allure, replaced by an aura of dark power. The truth revealed itself with chilling clarity. She was a witch, luring him into her trap. The woman's eyes burned with an intensity that froze Victor to his core. You thought you could outwit me, mortal. She sneered, her voice carrying a venomous undertone. But know this, deceit has consequences. With a swift motion, the witch raised her hand, a whirlwind of power engulfing Victor. He screamed, helpless as he was consumed, by an agonizing transformation, his body contorted, bones snapping and flesh contorting, until he stood before the witch as a twisted, grotesque figure, a living monument to his own deceit. As Victor, now a cursed being, sank to his knees, his hopes and ambitions crumbled to dust. The witch vanished into the night, leaving him to the eternal torment of his own treachery. And so, in the annals of history, 
Victor's tale serves as a chilling reminder of the consequences that befall those who seek to deceive the supernatural. The Witch's Garden, once a place of allure and wonder, became a haunting reminder of the price paid for one's own greed and deceit.